Welcome back, everybody. I have a shot of rum with me. What the hell is this? Plantation Barbados rum. Salud. Whoa. Ah, uh, that went down a little rough. <coughs> All right, back to what we're doing. Now that we're all personaed up, we can finally hang out with our uh, <coughs> monk friend. One more step closer to finishing this guy's social link. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, that was a little roof around the edges, that shot. I got some Corona to chase it down with. <clears throat> We're, um, getting into our more tropical beverages. Ah. All right, sorry, Bebe. We're we're still busy, yo. <clears throat> oh yeah, since we're tired, we we gotta hit the hay earlier. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Also, I wouldn't want to go to Tartarus. This Monday, because we're not going to be able to... I mean, I guess we could get into great condition if we slept. I mean, I slept, went to the bathroom, and it worked, but it's not guaranteed ever. Oh, hi, yo. It doesn't seem like Chidori is going to talk, does it? Junpei is really worried about her. I wonder what happened. That's Junpei. Yeah, you're right, but still, I'm a little worried. Man... Dude is a glutton for punishment, man. She fucking kidnapped him, threatened him, threatened us, and is still showing signs of hostility. Gotta let it go, bro. Hmm. Oh, that class was boring. I th think so. Let's go somewhere if you have the time. I almost forgot. I was gonna go. See you later. Unfortunately, <clears throat> we're not going to be seeing you today, Yukari. We have another social link in our sights. Okay. Oh, Junpei's here. What do you got? Yeah, what's up? I'm going to the hospital to see Chidori. No one better try and stop me. If they do, I'll be pissed. I wasn't planning on stopping you, so... As far as I'm concerned, Junpei, go ahead. Do what the hell you want. <laughs> oh yeah, let's see what happens when we say yeah. Well, where are they, then? Don't toy with me or I'll sign up for the Revenge Web Request website. She is, uh, serious about seeing Mitsuru in a bikini. Oh, where am I going? The student council is on the fucking second floor. I'm getting flipped turned upside down. Yes, yes, yes. Is Odagiri absent today? Um, no. I think he's busy. Busy doing what? Busy playing private dick. Oh, 
You mean what Fushimi was telling me about earlier? I see. Well, his intentions are good, so you can't really blame him, but I understand how you feel. You can go if you'd like. I don't mind. Sorry for all the drama. Alright, I guess we're out of here then. Whoa. That seems like they're in an argument. So where's your evidence, smart guy? There's no need for evidence. I know all about you. You were arrested for beating up a guy in the park who snitched on you, right? Whoa, he's at it again. That's the third person today he's accused. My boyfriend said he was accused too. He was so pissed off. That guy's gonna get himself punched in the face one of these days. It looks like the punk is going to hit Hitatoshi. So this one doesn't matter. Let's try and intervene. If it's not you, then give me some names. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. You have my word as a member of the disciplinary committee. You think you're so smart, don't you? What a loser. Don't think you're off the hook just yet. The punk walked away. Makoto-kun. You look like you want to say something. Good work. Just be a yes man. If we let people get away with breaking the rules, things will only get worse. One day it'll spiral out of control and there will be nothing we can do. So, we should deal with the problem now while we still can. I know what people think of me. But, if you try to justify your actions, people will hate you even more. History has proven that. So, let this serve as a warning to other offenders. Makoto-kun, you're a sensible person. You understand, right? Yeah, sure, dude. Whatever you say, because we're not actually going to give you proper advice. We're just going to nod our heads and agree. I'm gonna get back to business. You should go home before it gets dark. Alright, so we're probably not gonna be able to go to Tartarus, which means another night at the arcade. Hi, how was your day? Our senpai are at the hospital and won't be back till later. Yeah, there you go. From what I hear, that girl Chidori won't say anything. Maybe we should wait to go to Tartarus until things are under control. I think you're right. Strega member Chidori has been sent to a Carijo run. Now yeah, you said this twice already. Mitsuru senpai and Sonata senpai are both still at the hospital. Their questioning of Chidori must not be going well. Yeah, I don't think it is. Strega still too. Yeah, you said this already. Orf. Nothing interesting on the news. Junpei seems to really like that girl. What should we do? Ignore him. Hmm, ignoring him is a bit drastic. Maybe we just shouldn't encourage him. My persona doesn't have any weaknesses. For your persona to have a weakness, the persona user has to have a weakness. And I don't. But, my persona also doesn't have any resistances, so I guess that makes it even. Alright, if you say so. <clears throat> you know what they should do, and to be honest, I don't know if they have done this to some degree, but in order to make these stat-increasing arcade games like actually meaningful like if you <clears throat> put them if you use them with a persona the game should keep track of the increases in the stats 
on that persona and then when you fuse it away it should pass it on to the next persona and so on and so forth i mean otherwise there's really no fucking point especially in the early game when you're going to be fusing the personas away and then you lose the buff Again, I don't know if um, the game definitely doesn't do that, but I have never seen any indication that it does, and I've never tested it on my own to check, but I would guess that it doesn't, which is truly kind of a waste, because doing it, it, the arcade games are only useful in New Game Plus when you have the ultimate personas in the early game, and you don't need to spend time doing other shit. <coughs> Okay. Well, now that we're feeling better, let's go to sleep. I mean, uh, study. Oops. <laughs> Completely misspoke there. Wee you, wee you, wee you, wee you, wee you. So, Yamagishi, do you sense anything? By refusing to speak, you're only hurting yourself. We aren't keeping you here because we hate you. We just want to avoid unnecessary confrontation. How's Chidori? Again? What's your obsession, Junpei? Did she say anything? Can I just talk to her? Iori, it seems like you're letting your emotions get the best of you. Is everything okay? Well, not exactly. I know she attacked me, but I can't stop thinking about her. Junpei kun. You okay? I'm glad they let you keep your sketchbook. You really do like to draw, huh? It doesn't matter. She spoke. No one else but me can understand my pictures. Chidori! Again? Why are you bleeding? She does it to herself. I thought I'd removed all the sharp objects in here. Apparently, we can't leave her unattended for even one moment. But fortunately, she heals at an astounding rate. Let go of me! Then, at the station, you did that to yourself? I never asked for your help. You were the one who misunderstood. Well, I want you to stop. You can't be doing that. It's not right. And I won't let you. The doctor will be here soon. You two should go now. All right, let's go, Junpei-kun. seem to have found your voice. <laughs> Time for the Mitsuru questioning to continue. 
All right, <clears throat> back to us and the important stuff. Junpei-san has left school and went to the hospital. Lately, he seems to be emotionally unstable. Telling it like it is, I guess. Okay, so today we will be hanging out with Case K, finally. We're finally, like, reconnecting with all of our um, school friends that we kind of just started in the beginning. And then have pretty much abandoned for the entire summer. Everyone, can I have your attention, please? <clears throat> oh, right, I forgot Fuka's in this club with us. Now, regarding the Bay Area music competition, it's just gonna be fucking like E40. And, um. <laughs> too short. Headlining the whole fucking thing. I'm pleased to announce that Case K's piece was selected for consideration in the final round. Aw, oh, man, I was hoping they'd pick mine. But your piece was really good, Case K Senpai, so I think you'll win. So thanks, but it wasn't me, it was my violin. I used my dad's Stradivarius. I was probably just the only contestant who played one, that's all. Case K seems embarrassed. What will you say to him? Great job! You got lucky is just some real hater shit. So thanks, Makoto kun. But I've only been playing the violin for about two years, so I must have just gotten lucky. You should have confidence in yourself, KSK Senpai. You've been practicing really hard. That's right, you're always the first one here and the last one to leave. Thanks, guys, but I'm your Senpai. I should be encouraging all of you, not the other way around. Ah, sorry, Makoto kun. I'm not making much of an impression as the club leader, am I? I'm not much of a musician, but I'd be happy to collaborate with you on a project sometime. It's, it's funny that he, like, singles us out, I guess because we gave him that specific compliment and he sits next to us. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, we're only at level 3, too. We got a long way to go with this guy. Well, I guess I should keep playing the violin for as long as I can. It's getting dark. You know, I realized we didn't finish uh, the strength socialing. I'm surprised we haven't had to do that recently. How should I explain this? Case K is talking to himself. Wha what's going on? Ugh, I... I can't stand... school. Just take it easy. You're pale, your blood pressure's low, and you're having difficulty breathing. How does he know all of this? I mean, <laughs> I guess you could tell that somebody's pale, but his blood pressure being low? How the, the fuck? Did he just have one of those fucking, like, pressure arm things on hand at all times? Now, tell me, have you been feeling weak and tired lately? When's the last time you ate something? Um... Well, I didn't eat breakfast this morning, so... Case K is inquiring about the sickly-looking kid's health. Well, it looks like you're suffering from iron deficiency anemia. Simply put, you're not getting enough iron. I recommend you add iron-rich foods such as liver, whole grains, and green leafy vegetables to your diet. Alright. Choice doesn't matter here. We could mock him or just be straight up. Let's be straight up. You gonna be okay? 
you should still get checked out by a professional. I'm not a real doctor, after all. Case case seems a little sad. Why don't you guys head home? I'll take him to the nurse's office. Alright, see you later, bro. Hey. What up? Junpei seems to really like that girl. What should we do? Strega member Chidori has been sent to a Karija. Okay. Orf! Planning to take the Matsutake mushroom hunting tour. Tourist reservations are skyrocketing and. Yeah, not the most interesting. There are so many things we don't understand about Chidori. Lucia is unable to sense her. Her state of mind is very unstable and she hurts herself. Yeah, curious. There you are, Shinjiro. He's going to see her, huh? <sighs> what an idiot. Fucking harsh. Harsh, bro. Alright, this is the final um, meeting with Tanaka. My, you're enthusiastic. Perfect timing. I'm actually waiting for the volunteer I told you about. I've decided to make a donation. Oh, there she is. See? Isn't she gorgeous? Uh, sure, absolutely. <laughs> Let's not be rude to her and say not really. I knew you'd agree. You can't hide your attraction, you little devil you. Few men can say no to a woman like that. She's raising money to help orphans in foreign countries. I don't look at it as a donation so much as an investment. Let me explain. Children who learn to cope with adversity are more likely to become rich and famous, like me. I'm thinking of donating 10 million yen. What's that, about $100,000? Sizable. Not a corporate donation, but a private one. When I told them over the phone, they sent me this. Gave us a thank you letter. I received it the very next day. Now I can't back out. 10 million yen is nothing to me, though. Once those children grow up and become successful, I'll introduce myself to them. I'll say, I'm the one who made all this possible. Then I'll be well taken care of in my old age. This idea probably would not have occurred to me if it wasn't for our conversations. By talking to you, I seem to have developed an interest in watching others mature. I thank you for that. Actually, I should be thanking myself for wisely noticing this. Despite his self-flattery, you sense President Tanaka's true appreciation. And we fully understand him now. You know, all told, I don't really understand the purpose of this of this social link for the main character. You give the guy forty thousand dollars or forty thousand yen, he basically scams you out of it, and you continue hanging out with him. Like, what the fuck? I don't understand. And he just gives you like shoddy, scummy advice, and he threatens you <laughs> in the beginning. Alright, now we can make Beelzebub, Lord of Hell. You can keep that letter. I worked myself to the bone to earn that money, and all I get in return is a piece of paper? Excuse us, we need some time alone to talk about adult stuff. Oh, by the way, I've decided to pass on the exclusive modeling contract we discussed. 
Unfortunately, I got swept up by your enthusiasm and may have given you the wrong impression. Anyway, stop hanging around middle-aged men like me and find what truly makes you happy. Toodaloo, my dear boy. May you find success one day. All right, I guess out of this we got kind words and a thank you letter. Fantastic. Sup, Makoto? Sorry I haven't been around. But, you know, I can't just leave her alone. Don't ask me why. Take care of yourself, dude. Yeah, thanks, man. I mean, it's kind of obvious he has a fucking thing for her. It's not like a big fucking mystery. Oh, who's gonna accost us today? Hitatoshi? Well, we'll be hanging out with you today. Leads? Ah, you forgot already? The student who is smoking. I'll get to the bottom of this for sure. Well, excuse me. Nah, I haven't been looking into that shit at all, bro. I'll leave that to you. You can press the entire student body. I'll just try and save you from getting socked in the mouth. Hey, Makoto-kun, perfect timing. Will you come with me after school to help those kids train? What kids? Don't tell me you forgot. We've been teaching those little kids how to race, remember? We're just forgetting everything today. I think they really look up to you, too. I'll be waiting. Yeah, sorry, not today, Yuko. Damn, three, huh? Oh, what a coincidence. Are you coming to club today? I haven't decided yet. That's right, you're free to make your own decisions. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to say that out loud. Uh, everyone's free to make their own decisions. Well, Wells, I'll see you later. That's such a strange interaction. And he's hiding something. <laughs> yeah, that's... It must be like translation stuff going on there. Okay. The staff members are arguing. How many times do I have to explain? It's like I'm talking to a moron. Yikes. Why are you accusing me? The cigarette butt was in the boy's bathroom, right? He's coming after the vice president of the fucking student council. He's wallin'. Can you prove that it wasn't a girl who left it there? I mean, he's technically right, but that's uh, quite the leap in logic. There's just no reasoning with you. No one seems to agree with Hidetoshi. Well, fucking of course not. Everyone has left. What a bunch of Neanderthals. Makoto-kun, were you there the whole time? <laughs> we, we just gotta be yes-men. They can be pretty cruel. Don't hold it against them. They're like children. They just don't understand. Of course he's satisfied because we told him what he wanted to hear. Sooner or later, 
they'll see the light. Then they'll respect me. I'm not isolating myself. I'm just being aloof. Sooner or later, someone always gets hurt in any relationship. I guess I'm preaching to the choir, though. I apologize. Seems like Hitotoshi is trying to be a good friend. <laughs> but just a terrible person otherwise. <laughs> And this is precisely why you have to play these games with a guide if you want to max the social links. Because there are just plain right and wrong answers for the game. But for real life, you would definitely tell him, dude, you can't just accuse everybody. What the hell's wrong with you? It's getting dark out. There's no reason to have a meeting if no one's here. Let's go. Alright, well that was short. It's been such a long time that I don't really remember how the hey. social links in Persona 5 play out. Um, but I know in 4, there's straight up an NPC in that game that tells you, you have to tell women what they want to hear if you want to get far with them. <laughs> uh, that's crazy. How long have we been holding that Shidori girl? About four days. Oh yeah? Okay. And for four days, I guess I've been saying the same shit. Apparently Ken as well. Ken Kun uses a spear, so he has a lot of reach when he attacks. Next to a bow, a spear is probably the best long-range weapon. But with a spear, you can only cover a small area in front of you. And if you miss with a spear, you'll probably get counterattacked. Arf! Oh, we could take him for a walk. But, we're not going to. There's nothing interesting on the news. I mean, I guess actually we could. We don't, we don't need to hang out with uh, our tower man right now. There are so many things we don't understand about Chidori. Oh yeah, you said this already. All right, we're Shinjiro. No one's attack is more powerful than mine. Healing and support? <laughs> I don't do that crap. So don't look at me if you need help. Alright man, just fucking take it easy. Um, yeah, I guess we could, um... Hang out with our monk friend, but there's no real reason to. We have a lot of time left. <laughs> Can save that for another day. Maybe we'll get something hanging out with Koromaru for tonight. What up, Koro-chan? What'd you get? A Balm of Life. Uh, is that a full revive? I think so. If so, completely fucking worth it. Hello, this is Fuka. Do you have a minute? Yes! Um, I was wondering if you'd like to hang out with me next Sunday. We will, actually. One of the few. Great! I can't wait. Okay. One of the few phone um, conversations that we actually will accept and indulge in. Feeling sleepy. Oh, so sleepy. Japanese culture plays an important role at the dinner table. Etiquette demands that we say a specific phrase both before we eat and after we eat. 
What do we say after we eat? Junpei, you should know this. Huh? Me? Huh, hey, Makoto, what was the question? Uh... I guess it's this, Gochiso-sama. Correct, we say Gochiso-sama, to thank the one who provided the food. It's similar to the Christian blessing before a meal. Last time, my darling. My darling. Phew, thanks, Makoto. Makoto told Junpei the answer, he's such a nice guy. Sketchbook. I thought your old one might be getting full. That wasn't necessary, Junpei. <laughs> you said my name. I was worried I'd never hear that again. Any luck? She finally started talking. But nothing useful yet. Well, that's a start. So, why are you here? <gasps> Chidori, what's what's wrong? <gasps> a persona. Nanny? <gasps> Chidori! Relax, it happens. They're not like us. They can't fully control their personas. That's why they need to take suppressants to keep their personas from killing them. Suppressants? You know about Strega? You'd be surprised what you can learn on the streets. I'll give the doc the right pills. The rest is up to you. Shinji, wait! Hey! Thank God! I thought you might be. Why do you look so scared? Death is nothing to be afraid of. W what are you saying? Dying just means you don't wake up anymore. That's all. What? You don't really mean that, do you? I don't want you to die, Chidori! Junpei. Just because you're not afraid doesn't mean no one else is. Did you ever think about how I might feel? <laughs> you're so weird, Junpei. Look who's talking. Looks like she's lightening up, finally. Hey, wait! Shinji! What the hell's going on? Why did you have those pills? I've heard about those. They're taken to suppress a persona when the user can't control it. But the side effects... You're not taking them, are you? Answer me! I don't owe you anything. 
the same as always. Save it. I've heard it all before. You think I'm wasting my power, but you're just too thick-headed. The fucking portrait does not match his tone of voice. Like, he looks so desperate. <laughs> and the way he's speaking is calm as hell. I'm tired of your damn preaching. Don't you get it? You know the reason. Ten years ago, my sister, the fire. I wasn't strong enough to save her. They held me back while she... That's why I try so hard. We promised, remember? To become strong enough to do what we think is right. So why the drugs? Why didn't you come talk to me? I'm back in the fight now. So let it go. <sighs> and then the side effects? <sighs> There's something I need to take care of. It's something only I can do. Like what? Listen, don't worry about me. Just do what you think is right. Excuse me. Well, that was interesting. Fucking Akahiko gave him that mean right hook. He seemed eager to get there. Has the questioning been going smoothly? Junpei's making progress. Do I detect an underlying meaning? Is there something between her and Junpei-san that I am not aware of? I am confused. Ah, damn it. Garrett Cole just gave up a double. Fucking shit, yo. Oh, we're actually gonna hang out with you today. Finally. Dude, this is not good. I, I, I... Alright, we already got our Magician Persona, so we're good to go. Thanks. Let's go somewhere we can talk. Okay, we're at the shrine. Uh, hey man, so sorry I asked you to come here. I, um... Oh, never mind. Are you in trouble? R right. I, I... Kenji calmed down and began to talk. D dude I don't know what to do. Well, the whole school knows about me and Emery. It's a huge scandal. Emery is being transferred to a school in Kyushu. Well, what should I do, dude? You should talk to her. Yeah, man, that's what I thought. Kenji is nodding his head in agreement. But she's, like, totally avoiding me. It's like, all of a sudden, she won't take my phone calls or reply to my text messages. She's probably only doing this to protect me, but still. Kenji seems like he's going to cry. I can't just sit here and do nothing. I gotta think of a plan. I need your help, dude. Kenji has disclosed his troubles to you. For that second choice, we could have alternatively said you should go with her. Again, just being a fucking yes man. <laughs> fucking insane. Really just telling people what they want to hear. Later, dude. Thanks for the talk.
Oh wow, here we go. Finally, I was wondering when this was gonna happen. What's up, Elizabeth? Alright, so new quests and whatnot have suddenly become available for Elizabeth. I wonder if we have a new date available for her. Welcome back. It's not the right time to be bombarding her with questions. Besides, we still have three shadows to contend with. We should be able to accomplish that within the next few months unless the situation changes. Don't let your guard down until the very end. You got it, dude. Why isn't anyone going to the hospital today? Is the investigation over? Yes. We found out everything that we wanted to know. Shinjiro's suppressant, Akihiko's expression. Okay. How can I help you? There are so many things we don't understand about Chidori. Lucia is unable to sense her, state of mind is when she hurts herself. Uh, we heard that before. Orf! No walk tonight, huh, buddy? Koromaru-san wants to communicate something to you. He is tired of eating the same food day after day. I recommend you change Koromaru-san's menu. I'll think about it. Koromaru-san seems happy to hear that. Thank you. Arf arf. Barf arf. Lucky color for our Virgos in the audience is yellow. Hey, that's me. For extra luck today, try punching three times in front of a mirror. Okay. We probably won't be going to the hospital again. Chidori hates us. Well, I guess she doesn't hate all of us. I said, hey, hey, hey. You don't say much, do you? Heh, <laughs> I can respect that. I don't like people bothering me, either. Ken Kuhn uses a spear. Oh, he said that to us. Where is Junpei? Is he here? There he is. Let's say someone tells me they want to die, so I tell this person I don't want her to die. How does that sound? Is it awkward? No, not really. Oh, that's good to hear. Uh, oh, you know what? Let me save right here. Or actually, call it a part right here, not save. As always, it's been real and it's been nice. In other words, it's been real nice. See you next time.